We are Luminous Figure Painters. Welcome. This is the first Adeptus Mechanicus Grim Dark painting tutorial in which I'll be painting up a tech priest of Forge World Metallica, the gleaming giant of Ultima Segmenta. Now let's light our lamps and grab our brushes. First we'll prime the model with a gloss black primer. I used a rattle can of Tamiya black gloss. This will pump up the metallic base coat shine. Then we'll go over that with a thin layer of gunmetal gray from Vallejo Metal Color out of the airbrush at 20 PSI, covering all but the deepest shadows, and then from 45 degrees above the model with the same brand's silver. Get yourself a bigger basing brush and apply Pro Acryl Burnt Red on the inside of the robes and any handles for weapons or other implements you might like, such as hoses. Large and wide sections of models like this call for large and wide brushes. Highlight the sharp edges with Bold Pirol Red. To save yourself steps, go over the robes and hoses with Bold Titanium White as well as the gun stocks of any Skatari. This guy doesn't have a gun really, so I can't show it, but I'll just go over those with Wildwood from Citadel. Basing these hoses in white will give us a little bit of an advantage later when we'll be covering them with yellow. Bright colors like bright green, yellow, orange, and red really want a bright base coat. Now we'll go over any flesh with olive flesh from Pro Krill and then just wash with Gilliman flesh from Citadel. Apply ivory and bright ivory and then wash with skeleton horde from Citadel on any bone bits. Highlight that back up with some ivory and bright ivory after it's dried. Block out the goggles or monocles as well as some hoses with Black Templar from Citadel. Now we will apply golden yellow from Pro Acrylic, counting on that bright white base. Apply Citadel's snakebite leather to pouches which should be based in white. A Skatari Ranger's pants can be painted coal black as well as the wrist computer on this guy's arm. You can highlight them with neutral or warm gray from Pro Acryl. Now we'll get on painting the hazard striped hoses. Start by mixing flow improver into coal black until it reliably flows off the brush. Then paint a single diagonal line about the width of your brush. Repeat this, leaving a brush width between stripes until one face of the hose is complete. Use these stripes as a guide to connecting the rest of them. Fix any mistakes with white and yellow. Sometimes it's the little extra effort that people will appreciate. Glaze ivory or bright ivory over the apex of the hoses to give it a reflection. Or just paint gloss varnish over them, no biggie. Again, it's just about what amount of effort you're willing to put in for, for small details. Mm -hmm. 
Now we'll base some brass bits with Brassy Brass from Vallejo Game Color. You can thin it a touch with Flow Improver or Thinner, just FYI. It's good stuff though. If you need help figuring out what parts want brass, do you a Google search for Tech Priest in Metallica Scheme. That's what I do. Okay, now I'll show you how I go about doing the cog design on the robes. First, I make sure I have good flowing paint. Hello, flow improver again. I set the base with a brush wide line, as such. Then I paint some small lines perpendicular to that base and stop at about a double brush's width. I repeat that step until all my cogs teeth are down. I repeat that step until all my cogs teeth are down, then cap it with a straight line over the top. Fill this space in if needed. Yay! Freehand designs. Alright everybody into the mud pit. Get you a mask and some eye protection and spray some streaking grime from Ammo by MIG on the dude. You can varnish before this step, but it's not 100% necessary. Just don't be a dumb dumb like me and leave your 67 man commission with streaking grime on them for 24 hours. You will cry as I did because the flesh is weak. By the way, I've always, I always have to say it, but this is my favorite part. I like to think of it as unearthing buried treasure. So fun. When that's all dry, take a cotton swab with some mineral spirits on and dab away. Aim for removing something like 75% of the grime. More is less. When you find you're not getting the edges of things to show up, your swab is too saturated, saturated with grime. Go back to the spirits, dab off the excess, then keep going. Remember, it's a dab, not a sweep. You can leave lots of hairs on the model by doing that. Take your time, be patient, it'll look good. Trust the machine. When you find your cotton swab is too big, too big for the deeper spots. Grab a crappy tiny brush, recite a canticle of judicious purging, and keep chugging along. At least you don't have to do 67 of these dudes. Twice. If you find you've removed too much, you can dab some of that dirty white spirit back on some surfaces as well. Now we'll apply rust streaks very selectively on our ferrous metals. Don't go super ham with some of these paints as a little goes a long way. That being said, we'll use a lot of them really quickly as a kind of wet blend. Check out my boy Gravehammer for the full cut on this method. While the streaks are wet, go ahead and add some light rust wash in a broad fashion and with focused application, dark rust deposits and light rust deposits. All by ammo. If you find you've added too much of something, quickly rinse your brush with spirits and just lightly dab it to blend it. It'll all get cleaned off a bit and meld into this nice creamy natural rust look. Do the typical swab clean thing, but try to follow the direction of gravity when you hit things like bolts and screws, leaving rust streaks. Will look great, don't you know? This next bit was kind of an experiment again, and I think maybe brass gets more tarnished than it oxidizes, but who's counting really? At your average craft store you'll find these things called soft pastels. Buy them. Also buy fine grit sandpaper. Thin out some Viridian oil from Widcern Newton just a touch and add some of this powder to make it a slightly textured wash. Add this to your brass, bronze, or copper bits and tell me how it works for you because I'm actually interested to expand on this technique. 
Remove as you would any other enamel paints. Okay, since we've got our oils out, thin some black and burnt umber with just a touch of white spirit and add the product known as VMS, Vantage Modeling Solutions, Oil Expert Satin Medium. Not wildly available, but can be found. Make it a good thick wash so we can knock it back. We'll place this in the very dankest, darkest lube parts under the armpits, at joints, oil can, and even splash some on the bottom of your dude's robes. Think of this as holy oils and lubricants. Knock it back with a swab and streak where you can. We've really buried a lot of the colors we put down originally, so now we're going to go over some of the edges of metal, red, white, and black, and just make sure they're singing. I went over the metal with Viejo Model Color Silver here. Now this is where the magic happens. Grab some bold titanium white and hit the goggles lenses, lights, that glowing tube, and his eye watch, while also edge highlighting, highlighting the objects that would reflect light. This will include sharp angles facing the light. When that dries, add contrast medium from Citadel to your favorite fluorescent paint. I use blue from Chroma Air and apply it as you normally would any contrast paint. Reapply some white to the source of light and or go back at it with the floor and paint until you're happy with it. Third! Alright, it's done. Base your model up how you like it and seal with a varnish if that's your jam. Hopefully you've noticed I've switched paint brands. Sold my soul and body to Monument Hobbies for the glory of the Omnissiah, I did. I personally really like their matte finish and high opacity. Make sure and check out the range at MonumentHobbies.com. Highly recommended. That's all for now. Hope you liked this tutorial and found it educational. Check out my link tree in the video description to follow me on social media accounts, drop me a like, add a comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notifications. Until next time, have a safe journey and make sure to bring a light. Yay!